Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Well, good evening, everyone. We want to welcome you this evening to our evening service at the New Life in Christ Jesus Church. Amen. Hallelujah. So, great to see you. Great to see you. We also welcome those who is watching this broadcast. Thank you so much for being with us this evening. Amen. And we pray that this service will be a blessing to each of us in Jesus' name. Amen. So let's we open up in prayer in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much. We thank you, Father, for who you are. We thank you, Lord, for everything that you have done, everything you continue to do in your people's lives. And Father, we thank you. You continue to direct the service tonight. Use Pastor Larry as your instrument, as your vessel, Lord God, tonight on behalf of your people. And Father, we're giving you all the praise and we're giving you all the glory in the name of Jesus. Have your way, Holy Spirit, in this place. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Well, God is faithful. He is a good God. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, tonight, Pastor Larry is going to be ministering to us. And usually, uh, on Sunday evenings, he also pray for those who need a healing in the bodies. And we know that God who we serve, he is the healer. Amen. So if you one of the people who need a touch from heaven, just releasing your faith by hearing the word of God and believe that God will touch your body. Amen. Hallelujah. So as you remember, Pastor Larry is going to be in this coming months in November. He's going to be going to Pakistan, so we appreciate your prayers. We thank you who continue to pray with us for Pastor Larry's trip and, and um, everyone who is going to be part of that crusade um, in Pakistan. And so we believe that Pakistan belongs to Jesus, amen, and that uh, God loves people in Pakistan. So we're going to believe for the great things going to happen in Pakistan. Amen. Amen. Also, those who continue to want to sow the seed toward the Pakistan for this trip, you're welcome to do so. And um, you can contact us through our website. You sow the seed through the website or you can mail to us uh, to our P.O. box, and that information will be given end of the service. Amen? Hallelujah. So we, we continue to pray for every partner, every giver, every day, because that's important to continue to cover you, those who are our partners, those who support supporting this ministry. We continue to cover you with prayer, and we continue to Believe for the great things God going to do in your life because you are in a partnership with us, what God called us to do. So we greatly appreciate you. We love you. Uh, and we continue to pray for you and for your families. Amen. Hallelujah. Because God is the faithful God. And we continue to stay in the word. And I want to read the scripture, one of the scriptures of, of for you right now and many of you are familiar with that scripture in the book of uh, Isaiah chapter 54 and verse 17 that no weapon that is formed against them shall prosper and every tongue that shall 
rise against them in judgment they shall condemn and hear that this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and their righteousness is of me says the Lord so regardless what the enemy try to bring or throw into your way to set you up on different things that he might try to do toward you you can stay on God's word and on his promise amen because God gave us a sword of the spirit which is the word of God amen and of course we as a people of God also have to examine our lives, examine if some wrong has been done, somewhere maybe a door be open. And if Holy Spirit show you something in that area, you what you have to do. We repent, right? We ask the Lord. Lord, you know, I miss it. Forgive me. You know, and and get back on track, right? And so, to learn from it. Learn from it. But that's the one of the important things that we judge ourselves, right? That we will not be judged with the world. So, then we use the word of God. Because his promise, because he, in the first John 1 and 9, it says, God is faithful and just to forgive us our sins. It doesn't mean that that's, we have permission to do, you know, wrong. But if we miss it, if we make mistakes and sincerely come to the Lord and ask, Lord, I made a mistake. I am so sorry. Please forgive me. And get me out of that situation. Whatever the situation is. This is when the word of God says. In the first John 1 and 9. God is faithful and just. To forgive us our sins. And cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And if you make some mistakes. Those who may be right now. Listen from online. Actually, today is your opportunity. And you can say this prayer with me. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's we pray together. Heavenly Father. And you repeat this with me. Heavenly Father, I come to you in the name of Jesus. And I ask in you, Lord, to forgive me of all of my sins and cleanse me from all unrighteousness and today Lord Jesus I'm accepting you as my Lord and as my Savior and I promise you to serve you all the days of my life Amen and if you say this prayer with me, with all of your hearts, sincerely, God and the angels of heaven, the, all of the angels of heaven have been rejoicing because you came to the Lord today and established this renew your relationship. Amen? That is a, that's a great thing. That's a good news. Amen? So now, before Pastor Larry come and minister to us, now, since all of the hearts is clear, you came and dedicate your life to the Lord, now we're going to be praying for your situation, whatever you're going through, because God is promised and His word that no weapon against you should prosper in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, I lift unto you, Lord God, your people. And I thank you, Father, that you are faithful God. 
because you are faithful and just to forgive us sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And Father, I lift unto you, Lord God, your people. And I thank you, Lord God, that you look upon your people with the eyes of mercy and grace and, and sincerity, Lord. Those who spoke and confessed. Lord, we thank you, Lord God, that you touch your people. And Father, those who go on through some situations in their lives and some different warfares that you know, Lord, what your people going through. And Father, we proclaim and declare an authority in the name of Jesus Christ and according to your word that you said in your word that no weapon against your people should prosper and we cancel right now every work of the Satan that come against God's people every setup every demonic activity that come against their lives we bind we lose it we cancel it now in Jesus name and Father you said any word as we submit to God and Father right now in prayer your people submit to you and you said in your word, resist the devil. And Father, we resisted every demonic attack that come against God's people. And we command you, Satan, flee in Jesus' name. And Father, we thank you, Lord God, that your angels, that your protection over your people. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that angelic visitation. In the name of Jesus. And manifestation as needed. And Father we're giving you praise. And we're giving you glory. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Well glory to God. Glory to God. And we know that the word of God. Will not return void. That the word of God. Will manifest. In your life. And each of our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So well continue to believe because according to your faith will be given to you. Whose report do you believe? Are you gonna believe the report of the Lord? Are you gonna believe today what God says in his word? We should walk continually by faith and not by sight. Amen. Amen. Well, God bless you. We love you. Pastor Larry is here. He's going to be ministering to us right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Glory, glory, glory. You just turn it on. <laughs> the timer. That's all good. No problem. It's all good. Life is good in the Lord. Can you agree? Amen. Okay, you can put the phone down now, Miss Elizabeth. Thank you. Okay. So now, I believe that tonight can be your breakthrough night. Your healing can manifest tonight. There's a flow of the Spirit of God that is moving in the house of God, among the people of God, like I had not experienced in some time. But I believe tonight, oh, hallelujah, if you will take God at his word and get in the water, as the water begin to flow, get in the water, and I believe you will experience a supernatural breakthrough in your health. Hallelujah. God, I thank you 
for what you're about to do in the lives of your people. I thank you, Father, for the anointing in the name of Jesus that will flow through these cameras into the homes, into the cars, into the, the jobs, the workplaces, Father. Wherever they are at and wherever they are viewing this message, Father, let the anointing flow. Let burdens be lifted, let yokes be destroyed, and let diseases and sicknesses flee from their bodies tonight as they take the word to heart and simply believe. God, I thank you, and I give you the glory in advance for it in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Glory to God. Welcome to New Life in Christ Jesus Church where Jesus Christ is glorified. Amen. Now, I got a word for you tonight. And I believe we'll minister to your heart if you would uh, just take it to heart. Amen. If you just take it and receive it, I believe that God will minister to your heart tonight. Glory to his name. Amen. I'm going to be talking about something that I believe that God spoke to my heart today. Amen. And, uh, and as we do, I believe that you will experience what God intends for you to experience. Amen. Let's go to the book of John's Gospel. Amen. We're going to talk about something here that I believe will touch an area in your life that will bring about one of the greatest manifestations of God's miracle, miraculous touch. John Gospel chapter 5. <clears throat> in John Gospel chapter 5, look what he said with me in verse number 1. Hallelujah. After this, there was a feast of the Jews and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there at Jerusalem by the sheep market, a pool, which is called in the Hebrew tongue, but Bethsaida, having five porches. Glory to God. <laughs> I'm beginning to feel this already. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God, somebody's going to be touched. Somebody's going to receive their healing tonight. Someone is going to receive their breakthrough tonight in their health situation. I believe that with all my heart. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Verse number two says, And there went, and there at Jerusalem by the sheep market, a pool, which is called in the Hebrew tongue, Bethsaida, having five porches, and there and in these lay a great multitude of impotent folk, of blind, halt, withered. Listen to this now. Waiting for the moving of the water. Waiting for the moving of the water. Now the water plays a great significant part in this lesson tonight. Amen. And I believe that as you get a hold of this, you're going to begin to experience what I believe that God is going to do. It's going to be supernatural and miraculous. Amen. What God is going to do in your lives, of, in your life tonight. Amen. Because I believe there's healing that's available right now to them that would believe. Amen. I believe there is healing available right now to them that believe. Amen. So now, I want you to look. We're going to look at something else right now. Let's, you, you see what he's saying, right? We, we probably come back over here a little later. But let's look at, let's look at uh, since we're in the book of John, let's go to chapter 7. Chapter 7. Amen. And go look at verse number, chapter 7, verse number 37. 
start at chapter 7, verse number 37, and it says, in, these, in the last days, the great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried, saying, if any man thirsts, what is, what, how do you, how you quench a thirst? With water. With water. Amen. So he said, notice what he said now. Glory to God. In the last day, this is John chapter 7, verse 37. In the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried, saying, If any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. He that believeth, are you, I'm asking you a question, are you a believer? Amen. Because you see, this is to the believer. This is not to the unbeliever. This is to the believer. Amen. Verse 38. He that believeth on me, as the scripture had said, now get this, out of his belly shall flow what? Rivers of living water. Shall flow rivers of living water. Amen. And I believe right now, as I speak the word today, there you will experience the presence of God. The presence of God will come upon you, but you should receive this as the river of God that is flowing from the throne of God. Amen. Because in this water, there's healing. And all you got to do is step in by faith. God is going to touch you. God is going to minister to you. God is going to heal you. God is going to set you free. Tonight, you watch to see. Tonight is your breakthrough night. Tonight is your breakthrough night. Hallelujah. So it said, verse number 39, said this, John chapter 7, verse number 39. But this spake he of the Holy, this spake he of the Spirit, which they that believed on him should receive. For the Holy Ghost was not yet given because that Jesus was not yet glorified. Amen. So we're talking, we're talking about a spiritual force right now that is about to be released in your situation, in your health situation like you have never experienced before. And it's going to bring about one of the greatest manifestations of God's healing power. Amen. It's going to drive out that virus. It's going to drive out that that germ that is affecting your health is going to bring about one of the greatest healings manifestation that you have ever experienced and you're going to be able to go and share and tell someone else about it. Why? Because God is going to do it. God is doing it. Not man, but God is doing it. Amen? And I just, I just want you to hear that. I want you to hear this first. Now let's go back to chapter 5. Let's go back to chapter 5 for a second. John chapter 5. Amen. Notice what it says right here now, because this is very important. You need to prepare yourself to take a step of faith and to get into the water of God. Amen. Because this is where the Spirit of God, this is your, this is your contact. Amen. Your step of faith. <laughs> I remember I preached this, I, I preached a message similar to this one time here in California. And, and as I preach this message, amen, the people, I said, now just take a step of faith and step into the water. They stood up and got up out of their seat. And when I said step into the water now, the angel is stroking the water. When I said step into the water, the people took a step forward. And let me tell you something. There were so many deliverance took, took place in that service that day. There were so many healings took place in that service that day. And the, and, and and people were kept. Devils were coming out of people without anyone even touching them. Why? Because of the presence of God. You step into the, you, you, they stepped into the flow of the Holy Ghost. Amen. 
Oh, glory to God. And I believe there's going to be some people tonight that are going to step in the flow of the Holy Ghost that you will never thirst again. In other words, that you will never be tormented again by, with this demonic spirit that's been taunting you. Amen. It's going to leave you today. I believe that some of you are going to be delivered today by listening to this message. Some of you are going to be set free today from demonic oppression just by hearing what the Spirit of God is saying to you today. Today. Right now. Today. Amen. Don't take this lightly because I believe I am on an assignment today to set you free. Glory to God. To set you free by the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can I take you and show you, can I take you somewhere else right now? I want to take you to the book of Ezekiel. I want to take you to the book of Ezekiel. Can you go with me to the book of Ezekiel? Oh, hallelujah. And I want to look at Ezekiel chapter 30, chapter 47. Ezekiel chapter 47. Oh, yes, Lord. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Ezekiel is a prophet of God. Ezekiel is a prophet of God. Now, Ezekiel was, well, he, he, he had a vision about the river that was flowing from the throne of God. Amen. And as we begin to talk about this, we're going to go back over to John gospel uh, before it's over. But right now, I want you to see what God vision, the, the vision that God gave Ezekiel, amen, concerning the, the water the river that was coming from the throne of God. Amen. You see, the healing power of God is in the earth right now. And once we get in the right place, when we get in position, that healing anointing has already been released. You just step right into what God has already set in motion. And the power of God will begin to rest upon you, and you will receive your miracle, you will receive your touch, you will receive your healing, and, the, and, and, and let me tell you something else. That demon that's been that demon that, that has been, been, been plaguing you, amen, that has caused that sickness, that has caused that disease, amen, because it's always backed up by some demonic spirit. Some devil is trying to interfere with your walk with God, amen. And this devil is trying to keep you from your healing, amen. So you are the healed, and the devil trying to take your heal, your health away from you. God wants to restore your health and kick the devil out so he will have no place. In you. Notice what, it, notice what the Bible said right here in Ezekiel chapter 47, verse number verse number 9. Ezekiel 47, verse number 9. Oh, hallelujah. He said, and it, and it shall come to pass that everything that liveth which shall come, which, excuse me, that everything that liveth which move it, whatsoever the river shall come, shall live. In other words, you see, we're not talking about actual water. We're talking about the flow of the Holy Ghost right here, folks. We're talking about the flow of the Holy Ghost. You're going you're gonna, to you're gonna get this in a minute. You're going to see it in a minute. Amen. You're going to see it in a minute. But notice what he said. Shall live, and there shall be a very great multitude of what? Fish. You see, God is about to cast his net into the earth. And there's coming one of the greatest catch that he has ever caught in the earth. Amen. The harvest is ripe right now. And this is harvest season. And God is sending in his harvesters to reap his harvest. Amen. Notice what it says right here. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Notice what it says right here. This is Ezekiel chapter 47, verse number 9. Because you see, you right now, you say, well, Pastor, you know, I've been sick for so long, and I don't know if I can, I don't know if God can heal me. I, I beg to differ with you. You know why? I used to be sick. And I was in pain every day. Every day, in pain, walking around, holding my stomach. When I was when God called me to preach, I was very sick. And I began to, I, I, I tell you what. I didn't have no money to go to the doctor at that time. I didn't have any insurance at that time. I didn't have uh, uh, nothing but a lot of pain at that time. And then one day, God spoke to me. He said, get up and read your Bible. 
And I got up and ran to the door because I had five brothers, six sisters, and I thought someone was out there messing with me. But there was no one there. Amen. There was no one there. And I and I and so then from that point on, Amen. I remember what he said. He said, get up and read your Bible. So I began to read my Bible. And, and as I began to read my Bible, the Bible began to open up to me with truth that I had never seen before, even though I had read it many times. But this truth, I had never seen it like that before. Amen. And God began to speak to my heart through that word. And all of a sudden, I began to get the wisdom. I began to get understanding. I began to see what God was saying to me through the word of God, the word of God began to come alive. You know, when you understand what God said in his word, the word began to produce life. The word come alive. Once the word come alive, it's going to drive out. It's going to drive out that which is not from God. This is why it's so important that you understand what you are reading. You understand what God is saying to you. That way you, with that wisdom, with that knowledge, that demonic sickness, that devil that have afflicted your body would have to go. You can't stay. You can't stay. God wants to do something in your life, and he wants to do it now. He wants to do it now. Glory to God. Notice what it says right here now. Verse number 9. Ezekiel chapter 47, verse number 9. And it shall come to pass that everything that liveth which moveth, whithersoever the river float, with which whithersoever the river, the river come, shall live, and there shall be a very great multitude of fish. He's talking about souls right here, folks. He's talking about people. He's not talking about fish. You see, you are the fish. <laughs> and he's talking about you. Amen. He's talking about you. Now notice what it goes on to say. Because there, because these waters shall come thither from the for they shall be healed. Notice what it says. For they shall be healed and everything shall live whether the river cometh. Everything shall live whether the river cometh. Now that's a powerful statement right there that, that, that Ezekiel had a, a, a vivid vision of what I'm talking about right here. Amen. The river of God is healing. Amen. It's, it, 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 it carries God's healing power. Amen. It flows with God's healing power. In his vision, Recorded in Ezekiel chapter 47, God revealed to Ezekiel a river of living water flowing out of the, the, the temple of God. And the Lord, the Lord said to him, and it shall come to pass that everything that liveth shall, and everything that, that liveth, which moveth, wheresoever the water well, as well, the river shall shall come, shall live. In other words, wherever this river is flowing, wherever this river is flowing, that is coming from the throne of God, Amen. Now he's talking. He's talking about this living water we just read about in Isaiah. Excuse me, in John chapter seven, Amen. We talking about God. God said, if you drink of this water, you'll never. If you ask me for water, I will give you the living water. And if you drink my water, you'll never thirst again, Amen. So. The water that we're referring to, it bring it releases God anointing because you see we're not talking about uh, actual water. We're talking about the, the the Holy Spirit, Amen. And in this flow of the Holy Spirit that is coming from the throne of God, even now this river is beginning to flow from the throne of God. And in this flow, there's God's healing power and everything that that's moving up and down in this water, Amen. Everything that everything that's in this water is is being healed. Glory to God. God wants to do a supernatural work in your life, in your body, in your health. He wants you to have a testimony. He wants you to go back and share with your neighbor, with your brother, your sister, your mom, your dad. He wants you to be able to go back and to share with them God's miracle, miraculous healing power, how he touched you, how he delivered you, how he healed you, so that you can be an instrument in his hand to bring in the multitude of fish. <laughs> the multitude of fish. What do you mean, Pastor? You're going to be a tool used in the hand of God. When you heal, you're going to be a testimony to those that are around you, and they too will experience God's miraculous power. They too will experience God's miraculous power. Amen. How that's going to happen? 
you're going to become his voice. You're going to testify. You're going to share. You're going to acknowledge. Amen. Glory to God. Y'all understand what I'm saying today? I pray, I pray to God that you do. Amen. Now notice here. Notice here. Amen. Because you see, the river, the prophet Ezekiel saw, is a divine flow of the Holy Spirit. That's, this, this is what God was showing him. He was showing him a divine flow of the Holy Spirit that is being released from the throne of God. And there's a flow of the Spirit right now that is being released in a very powerful way. Folks, we are in the last of this year. We're in the last quarter of this year. And I believe before this year is over with, you're going to have a testimony. You're going to have a testimony of God's supernatural, miraculous power. How he touched you, how he healed you, how he set you free. Amen. I believe that you're going to have a testimony and you're going to share with your brother, your sister, and the next thing you know, they're going to be getting healed. They're going to be crying out to God. They're going to see the goodness of God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So notice what he said here. The river, the river that Prophet Ezekiel saw, talked about was that he's talking about the flow of the Holy Ghost. That's, what, that's exactly what he's talking about. Because you see, the living water that Jesus was talking about was the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And, 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 and when the angel came down in John chapter 5, when the angel came down and troubled the water, it wasn't a, a natural thing. It was a spiritual thing. Amen. Amen. It was a spiritual act. It was a spiritual, spiritual application. God wants you to get out of the natural and, start, and he wants you to start thinking spirit. Amen. Because you are a spirit. You have a soul and you live in his body. He wants you to start thinking spirit. Amen. Why? Because the anointing is going to come in by the spirit to set you free, to heal you, to, to, to deliver you. Amen. In the name of Jesus, glory to God. Father, I bind every demonic spirit right now, spirit of infirmity. I bind every demonic spirit of, uh, of sickness and disease right now in the name of Jesus. God, you said, you said in your word, you told us, you said whatever we bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. So Father, in the name of Jesus, I bind it up right now in the lives of those under the sound of my voice and those that will hear this later on. I bind up that demonic spirit of infirmity, sickness, and disease. I bind it up right now in the name of Jesus. And Father, I loose it from his assignment concerning that person that have an ear to hear what the Spirit of God is saying right now. And Father, shout out about Kodra Basila. Let your anointing begin to rest upon them even now. Even now, Father. Oh God, oh I sense the Holy Ghost right now. I sense the moving of the Holy Ghost right now that is flowing through these cameras right now. I sense the flow of the Holy Ghost right now is beginning to rest upon you right now. If you just start purposing your heart and say, I'm going to get in that water. I'm going to step in that water. Amen. When the angel troubled the water tonight, I'm going to step into that water. I remember, like I said earlier, I was ministering at this church here in California about six years ago. Amen. We were, I ministered along this line, and uh, and at the end, I I, I start I, I took them back to the river, to the water. Amen. To the water, and I told them about the the angel coming out and trouble the water. And and let me tell you something, the angel troubled that water that night, and I believe this is one of the nights the water's going to be troubled. Amen. I believe this is one of the nights the water's going to be troubled. Amen. And I believe that as you get into this water tonight, you're going, to, you, you're going to receive your healing. You're going to receive the touch from heaven like you never have before. Amen. And I believe that with all my heart. Why? Because I know what God did for me. And I know he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He'll do it again. There is a river flowing today that will release the life of God into your body. Amen. There's a river that is flowing today that will release the life of God into your body to heal and set you free from every sickness and every disease in Jesus' name. Amen. I believe that that God is God, that God is about to touch your heart. God's about to touch your life like you have never been touched before. Oh, hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Glory to God. If any man thirst, the Bible said. In John chapter 7, verse 37. If any man thirst, let him come unto me. Amen. And drink. He that believeth. See, God wants you to believe what, what you're hearing. He doesn't want you to say, oh, there go that preacher again talking about healing. No, I know I am that preacher. That's right. But you should not take it lightly what I'm saying to you tonight. Because especially if you're the one that's sick. <laughs> especially if you're the one that's sick. You shouldn't take it lightly. And you shouldn't make fun of what's being said. You should open up your heart and say that much. I'm gonna, you, should, you should do like I did one day. I said, I'm, I, I don't, I'm just going to see if anything to what this man is saying. I'm just going to believe and just going to see if anything going to happen. I'm, I'm going to believe and I'm going to act on the word just like he said. I'm just going to see if anything going to happen. I tell you what. I dare you to do it. <laughs> I dare you to act on the word. I dare you to just simply believe the word. Amen. Because I believe today you will experience a supernatural impact in your life. This is God's service. This is not my service. This is God's service. Hallelujah. This is God's service. I, boy, I can't wait to get to Pakistan. I, I, I tell you what, that's going to be a great outpouring of the Holy Spirit in Pakistan. Amen. And, 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 and next month. Next month. Amen. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, oh, I'm, on, I'm set on the edge right now. Amen. I'm set on the edge right now. But Ezekiel, but the real Ezekiel saw in the spirit, in the spirit was the release of the flow of the Holy, of the Holy Spirit, of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost. Amen. That what Ezekiel was seeing when he saw that vision. He was seeing a release of the Holy Ghost. Amen. A release of the Holy Spirit, which God was going to send forth into the, into the world. And right now we are in a position, right now because we are we are coming we are, we are. I've been preaching this. I've been talking about this for some time now, amen. And Doctor Cirillo prophesied it so many times. There's about to be a, as a supernatural force about to be released, like the church has never seen before. That will that will come upon that, that will something that, of that nature, amen. But I believe we are in that season now that this supernatural flow of God. It's about is being released. Why? Because God is showing me in the book of Ezekiel that the rivers that was flowing from the throne was the spirit of the living God flowing from heaven into the church. Whew. Woo, I just got that. Into the church. Amen. And as that river is flowing from the throne of God into the church, it's going to bring healing into the church. It's going to bring Deliverance into the church. It's going to begin to set the, the church of God free from demonic oppression, from demonic influence. Amen. When this river begins to flow, God is one, God, God is looking at your heart. Are you going to yield to the flow of the Spirit of God? Are you going to yield to the river of God that is flowing into the church? Amen. Or that you might not be sure. You might be at home right now. But are you going to yield to the Spirit of God that is flowing into your home? Amen. Because right now the river, I'm, I'm I'm trying to make it plain to you as I can, so that you can understand what Ezekiel saw it wasn't just he wasn't looking at a, a river of water. He might have been looking at a river of water, but what he saw, what he saw was God's anointing. What he saw was God anointing flowing from the throne of God into the, the heart of the believers. Into the church of God. Amen. Into the heart of the believers. Amen. That's what I believe that God was showing him. Amen. And, and I believe that as we get it, as we understand, as we can understand it, we're going to see that we're going to see the same thing. Amen. But notice, notice this now. Notice this now. Amen. Because it's so important that we get this. Healing. See, when the river begins to flow, everything in Everything that connected, everything that, that come into this river, everything that, that touches this water will be healed. Amen. There's the, there's the God's healing power that's going to be associated with this thing. And that's why it's so important that we understand. The, some, the same, the same powerful God that saved you, that same 
powerful God that set you free from that addiction, that same God has the power to heal you and to set you free from sickness and disease. See, God is the same. He's not changed. You just looking at it, you're just looking at the word of God, you're viewing everything from a different viewpoint. And this is why you are not receiving, this is why you're not hearing what God is saying to you, because you, you, you're looking at it from the eye of the unbeliever. You, you, In other words, you are more inquisitive and you're questioning rather than accepting what God said and believing and acting on what God said. Stop questioning God. Stop acting in unbelief. God is not going to force you to be healed. Remember what he said in his word in, in, Isaiah, chapter, in Isaiah chapter 53? He said, surely he had borne our grief and carried our sorrows, yet he did esteem him, stricken as men of God and afflicted, but he was wounded, for our transgression. He was, he was wounded for our transgression. We wasn't wounded for his. He was wounded for ours. And he was bruised for our iniquities. And the Bible said, and the chastisement of our people was upon him. And with his strife, the Bible said, we are healed. We are healed. Amen. We need to understand what God is saying to you. See, God has already did his part. He wants to do our part. He wants to just simply believe. And notice what it said in Psalm 107, verse 20. Says, these two scriptures here, I love these two sets of scriptures because they point you right into the hand of God where you can receive the manifestation of God's touch if you just simply believe it. God said he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destruction. Glory to God. What are you going to do? Are you going to receive your healing? Are you going to sit there and look like a uh, uh, Oh, whatever we you know, it's up to you. It's up to you. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just a messenger. I'm just a messenger. Now notice what it says right here in Psalm 103. David said, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not, what? All his benefits. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgiveth all thy iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases. Amen. Let this truth go deep into your spirit right now. Let this truth sink into your spirit right now so that God will have something to work with. Amen. Let it go deep into your spirit. The same life-giving spirit that was released through Christ when he went to the cross that you may be able to stand in the presence of God, that same spirit is here today to deliver you, to heal you, and to set you free. Amen. Hallelujah. The same life-giving spirit was released through Christ is living and working within you as a believer today to heal. Amen. To give life. Glory to God. Healing all manner of sickness, all manner of disease, the same way he did when Jesus was in the earth. That same spirit is still in the earth today, cause, causing the lame to walk, the dead to be raised, and the blind to see, the mute to talk, and the deaf to, to hear. The same spirit is still in the church. But we have to come to understand what God has given us and, and begin to walk in that knowledge. Amen. Glory to God. Look at, and then in Romans chapter 8, verse number 11 says, and, it, and if the spirit of truth who raised Jesus from the dead is living in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through the spirit who raised, who lives in you. Amen. See, that same resurrection power 
that raised Jesus from the dead lives where? In you. Amen. And on the day of Pentecost, a river of the life-giving spirit of God was released into the church on the day of Pentecost. See, on the day of Pentecost, they didn't know they were going to be speaking in tongues. God never told them they were going to be speaking in tongues. He said, you will receive power when the, after the Holy Ghost come upon you. And you shall be a witness unto me into Jerusalem and Judea and to Samaria and other parts of the earth. He never told them they're going to be speaking in tongues. Now, in Acts chapter 2, he said, and and, and what it said, now, <laughs> y'all look at me. <laughs> and when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. Notice what he said now. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind and it filled all the house where they were sitting. Get this. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as a fire. He didn't tell. He, now, this is, what, this is what God said. It was cloven tongues like as a fire. And it did what? It set upon each of them. And they began to do what? Speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. As the Spirit gave them utterance. Amen. See, now this river is coming from that same throne. This river we see, we just talked about that that, that flow, that whole that, 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 that spirit of God that came in as a rushing mighty wind, that same spirit came from the throne. And at the same place, this healing water is flowing from that Ezekiel is talking about from the throne. From the throne. I want you to prepare to get into the water. I'm gonna take you back to the going to take you back now to the book of John. And I want you to prepare to get into the water. In this water, you will find that God is already touching you. In John Gospel chapter 5. John Gospel chapter 5. Oh, hallelujah. Are you ready to get into the water? We're going to get you into the water, going to get you saved, get you delivered, and then we're going to go home. <laughs> Amen. But in John's Gospel chapter 5, notice what it said, verse number 2, it said, in these lay, in, in, now there at, now there is at Jerusalem by the pool, by the sheep market, a pool, which is called, in the Hebrew tongue, <clears throat> Bethesda, 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 having five porches, in these lay a great multitude of impotent folk, of blind halt and with it, waiting for the moving of the water. Amen. The water is about to move. I want to know y'all ready to get in. Amen. The angel, I sensed him when I started this message. I sensed the angel sitting on the edge of the of heaven's cloud, ready to jump into the water. Oh, I feel this thing. And as this angel come down, and as he troubled the water, the Bible said the first one that entered in was made whole of whatsoever disease he had. Amen. The water's about to be troubled tonight. Your water is about to be troubled tonight. Will you step into your water tonight? Your water's about to be choked tonight. I don't know what your sickness is. I don't know what thing that you're experiencing in your body. But I know that as this water begins to be stirred tonight, if you would have faith to get into the water once the water is troubled, amen, and I believe that God would be releasing a supernatural manifestation of his spirit as you step into the water. It's going to touch you from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. And you're going to begin to experience the healing power of God flowing into your body, into every organ of your body. It's going to start at your feet because that's the first part that's going to get into the water. Your feet. Amen. Unless you just dive in there. But he said, he didn't say dive. He said step in. He said step in. So we got to do it in the order that he has instructed us 
so that we can receive the manifestation that we are expecting of him. Amen. So as we see this, that we understand this, we're going to see that God is going to, that God is going to manifest on your behalf, on your behalf. Tonight can be your breakthrough night. Are you ready for your breakthrough? Are you ready to receive God's healing power? Are you ready to acknowledge what how good God is? And, share, and once you're healed, will you go and share with your brother, your sister? Amen. Once that cancer is driven out of your body, will you will you go back and show your doctor and do that and then get a report from him? Amen. Stating that you had cancer and all of a sudden that cancer was gone. Amen. You that deal with colon cancer, I'm talking to you right now. God wants to heal you. God wants to deliver you. God wants to set you free. But he wants you to go back to the doctor. He wants you to come back with a, he wants you to, to hear from the doctor that you have, that there is all gone, that, 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 that there's no traces of it. Amen. God wants to do something in your body so that you can be a testimony to the kingdom of God, for the kingdom of God. Amen. So notice what it said right here. And, 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 and it said in verse number two, it is in John chapter five, verse number two. Now there was at Jerusalem by the sheep, by the sheep market, a pool which is called in Hebrew tongue, Baptheta, having five porches, and these lay a great multitude of impotent folk, blind, halt, and with waiting for the moving of the water. See, the, the, the water is about to be stirred right now, and God is wanting someone to take a step of faith and just step into the water once the water is troubled. The angel, he's waiting for me to give him the signal, then he's going to come down. Amen. Notice now, in verse number four, he said, for an angel went down at a certain season into the pool and troubled the water. Whosoever then first after the after the troubling of the water stepped in was made whole of whatsoever disease he had. Amen. After the troubling of the water, the first one get into the water is made whole of whatsoever disease he had. Now, notice, this is not the natural pool that we are dealing with. So, now, every one of you can be first. It's just a step of faith for you. You can get up, and you can step into this pool of water. Amen. I don't know what are you, what are you doing. I don't know what kind of condition you're in. You may be having uh, high blood pressure. You may be having low blood pressure. You may be having... Uh, uh, issues in your in other areas of your body, Amen. And and the, and the doctor's giving you all these medications to take. And my God, you probably that probably hurt you more than the, the, the sickness that you're experiencing. A lot of times it does, Amen. But notice what God's going to give you. God's going to give you a boost of faith. God's going to give you a dose of the Holy Ghost, Amen. And he, and, and as you take the the, the gospel, <laughs> as you take the gospel. Amen. You're gonna find out that this sickness you have been dealing with is gonna is gonna be is gonna drop be driven right out of your body. Why? Because you're taking gospel. Amen. The gospel. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. And when you take gospel, which is the word of God, you're gonna find out that that sickness was not what it seemed to be at all. It's gone. It's gone. Someone right now, you've been set free right now. Someone right now being set free of a spirit of infirmity is, is a ligament, a ligament, a ligament. And it's, it's a female. It's the breast area. Shout out of our core. Shake him out of our key. Mm. My God. Someone right now is a female. You've been, you, you have, you've been dealing with, you got lumps in your breast. God is, and he's touching you right now. God is touching you. Not no man. God is touching you. Amen. By the power of his spirit. Amen. And this, 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 these lumps in your breast is being dissolved. Being dissolved. And when you step into this water, you're going to get up out of your seat. You're going to take a step of faith into this water. When, when the angel troubled the water, you're going to get up. You're going to take a step of faith into this water. And you're going to find out that this lumps is totally dissolved. And when you go back to the doctor... They're going to say, what happened to you? What did you do? Amen. It's not what you did. It's what God's going to do for you. Glory to God. Glory to God. So it says right here, verse number, verse number, verse number, verse number uh, four said, for an angel went down at a certain season into the pool and troubled the water. Whosoever then first after the troubling of the water stepped in was made whole of whatsoever disease he had. Amen. 
or whatsoever disease he had. Verse number five says, and a certain man was there which had an infirmity 38 years. See, some of you, you've been in, in this condition that you're in for a long time. You've been in this condition for a long time. And you think that there's no hope for you. You, you just want to throw in a towel. You want to quit. You want to give up. Don't do that. Don't quit. Don't throw it out. Don't give up. Did God give up on you? No. He didn't give up on you. And he, don't you give up on him. Amen. Because your healing is just a step away. Your healing is just a step away. Glory to God. The first one stepped into the water when the angel troubled the water. The Bible said is that person is healed of whatsoever disease he had. I don't know what your disease is. If God don't tell me, I, how, should, how can I know? But I know one thing, that you are about to be touched by the hand of Almighty God. Verse number six says, when Jesus saw him lie and knew that he had now been and knew that he had been now a long time in this case. He said unto him, Would thou be made whole? Amen. See, some of you, you've been, you've been waiting, you've been waiting, you've been waiting, and God is going, and he's going to ask you, Will you be made whole? Then this man, he began to tell Jesus his whole life history, his whole story. Amen. That is, that is, that is not what he asked him. He said, would that be made whole? And, and knows what Jesus, knows what he goes on to say? Amen. Verse number seven. And the empty man answered him, sir, I have not, I have no man when the water is troubled. I have no man when the water is troubled to put me in to the pool. But while I am coming, another step it down before me. Another step down before me. Now this man right here now, he's probably angry. He probably had resentment. Why am I, why no one wants to help me? Don't they see that I need help? Amen. They, he's angry. He's bitter. Because he's been there for a long time. 38 years and trying to, and, and, and no one would help him. In 38 years, no one would help him. Why? Because there was a lot of sick folk around there. They wanted to get healed too. So why should I help you? I, I, my body's hurt. I, I need healing myself. So they, quite naturally, going to be the first one to get in. But Jesus saw that this man was helpless, that he couldn't get in the water first. And Jesus went to this man and said to him, Would thou be made whole? And the man began to tell him about his condition. Every time I try to get into the water, another step in before me. Amen. Another step in before me. We're getting ready to close this thing. Getting ready to close this thing. Amen. And Jesus said unto him, verse number 8, John chapter 5, verse number 8. And Jesus said unto him, Rise, take up thy bed, and walk. Can you imagine you've been laying in that situation for 38 years, and all it takes was a, a word to cause to get your attention that causes you to 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 experience a strength in your in your body that you never experienced before. A word, just one word. Get up or take up that bed and walk. Rise, take up thy bed and walk. Rise, take up, take up thy bed and walk. Seven words. Seven mean completion. Amen. And I believe that God is going to speak to you, the, the one that's been in this condition for a long time. You, you may not be able to get up out of the chair. You may not be able to get up out of the bed. You may be bed ridden. You may be paralyzed. I don't know what your problem, but you've been that way for a while and you're about to give up on life. You're about to give up on God. And God said, don't quit. Don't give up. God said, don't quit. Don't give up. And he wants you to understand that this is the greatest moment in life that you will ever experience. Don't quit. Don't give up. Don't give up. 
How many people you know that want to give up on life? God don't want you to give up. God wants you to, to keep the faith. Keep the faith. Keep pressing in. Hold on. The best is yet to come. Jesus said unto him, Rise, take up thy bed and walk. And immediately, the Bible said, Immediately, verse number 9, the man was made whole and took up his bed and walked. And on the same day was the Sabbath. Now, Jesus got in trouble now because he healed, because the man got healed on the Sabbath and carrying his bed. I want you to know right now the angel is ready to come down and trouble the water. The Bible said the angel came down at a certain season. Remember, in Ezekiel, we saw the river flowing from the throne of God. That river represents the flow of the Holy Ghost. And everywhere the river flowed, there was life. Everything was alive. Everything coming alive. That was, everything that it touched brought forth life. Amen. You know, water in a in a, in a dry land going through a, going through the going through on a, in a big stream. On both sides of that that stream, you find out that the trees on both sides of that stream are, are pretty much alive. They beautiful leaves and everything. And way away from that stream, you find out that the leaves out there there's not so as bright as those that are right there at the stream. Why? Because those that are right there at the stream they have first access to the water. You are at the stream right now. You got first access to the flow of this holy water that is flowing from the throne of God right now. There's nothing can stand in, there's nothing to stand in your way if you get it up and get into the flow of water. The angel's about ready to trouble the water right now. Look down at your stream, look down at your water. You see that you can look down at your water right now. Visualize your water. Visualize your water and look at your water. Can't you see the little, little, the life that is going up and down the stream? Amen. The life that's going up and down the stream. That because the water has a constant flow to it. Amen. It's no, it's not dammed up somewhere down the stream. Amen. The water is right there where you're at. It's just, just beautiful and clear. You can see the bottom is so clear. You can see the little fish coming up and down. The water is so clear. Now, 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 just think now. Just think now, here come, I, I just think, I got a rock in my hand. I'm going to throw this rock in this water, and you're going to see the ripples going across this water. Amen. You know when you throw a rock in the water, you see ripples going across the water. Amen. I'm going to throw, I'm going to drop a rock into this water right now. Your water. I want you to look at your water, and I want you to see these ripples going across your water, because that's going to let you know that when the angel come down and trouble your water, you're going to know to step in at that time. You're going to know to step in at that time. I won't throw no rock in at that time. The angel is going to touch your water and you got to see it in the spirit in order to receive your healing. This is a spiritual application that we are presenting to you. And if you receive it and act upon it, I believe that you will walk away tonight knowing that God has touched your body and that you receive your miracle, your touch, and you will have a testimony to share with others. Hallelujah. I believe that. This message came to me for this purpose. To help you to get in position to receive your healing. Amen. Now, the angel, he's on the side right now. He's ready to jump. Are you ready? I'm going to throw this rock. I want you to look at your water. I want you to visualize your water. I want you to see your ripples. You see your ripples going across? I can see the ripples just rolling all around. <sighs> Glory to God. Just in case you didn't see it, I'm going to drop another rock into the water. <laughs> see the ripples. <laughs> I can see the ripples. <laughs> Amen. The angel is about to jump down. He's about, he's about to step off. He's about to step off that cloud right now. He's about to come down into your water. Now, this is your chance. This is your chance. I want you, I'm not going to trouble your water this time. The angel of God is going to trouble your water this time. 
You saw the ripples when I throw that rock into the water. You saw the ripples going across your water. I can see it so plain and clear. Amen. Now, when the angel stepped into the water, your job is to step into that water too. That's what you got to do. Amen. God is not going to push you in this water. You got to take a step of faith. You got to get in this water by faith. You got to get up. You got to take a step of faith. You're going to step into this water, and as you do, the water is going to... I'm, oh, she let about cold out of my The living water will cause you to never thirst again, cause you to never be hungry again, cause you to never, glory to God, suffer again. Father, I believe they're ready. And as I shall let about as I have believed in my heart, Father, and, oh, and honored you, through this message tonight, I believe, Father, that as the angel ascend from heaven and touch down in this water, that the people will see the water troubled around them and they will step into this water. And as they step into this water, God, they will experience a manifestation of the Holy Ghost like never before, your healing power is going to manifest on their behalf. And they will have a testimony of what God has done. Not the work of a man, but the work of the Holy Ghost. I thank you for it now in Jesus' name. The angel said up there, are you going to keep talking or let me come down? I'm going to let you come down right now. <laughs> oh my God, he's ready. He's up there, he's ready. Glory. Oh, yep, yep, that's, that's it, that's it. That's it. Father, in the name of Jesus, I release the angel right now to come down and trouble the water. Come, in Jesus' name. The angel coming. There he is. There he is. You pay attention. If he, When your water is troubled, just step in by faith. Just step in by faith. I'm, oh, shut, ah, I'm in it. Glory to God. I receive my healing. Glory to God. You need us healing? You step into that water. You step into that water right now. Oh, y'all just gonna stand in one place. Are you do you, you? Oh, glory to God, glory to God, Father. I'm just so thankful, Lord God, right now. Oh, glory to God, glory to God. Oh, glory to God. Thank you, Father. Do y'all see your water being troubled? Do you see your water being troubled? Then take a step of faith into the water. Get into the water. You don't get into the water by standing up. You get into the water by taking a step into the water. Thank you for it, Father. Thank you for it, Father. God, I give you praise. I give you glory. I give you praise. I give you glory. I thank you, Father. Every organ of my body is functioning properly as you created the function. I'm walking in divine health, Father, because you declared it in your word. I receive, Father, that my body is, 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 is as you have spoken it. And as I have believed, Father, so it is unto me now, today, in Jesus' name. I receive all that you have prepared for me to receive in Jesus' name. As the angel has troubled my water, I took that step of faith and I stepped in, Lord God. I believe, Father, that I healed in every area of my body in Jesus' name. Thank you for it, Father. Thank you for it, Father. Thank you for it, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you took that step of faith into your water, as you saw the angels step into your water, amen, glory to God. I believe that arthritis went right out of your hands. Your joints and everything is beginning to lubricate by the presence of God. As you stepped into that water, I believe that ligament that was attached to your breast is gone. The lumps are dissolved and all the pain that you was experiencing is gone. I believe that. And I believe that you that was dealing with that colon situation, I believe that once you stepped into that water, that, that, that healing started at your feet and it went up 
into your blood system. It's starting way up in your joints and in your muscles and every area. And then all of a sudden, it's zipping your stomach area and your it's zipping your 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 colon, your 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 stomach, your oh my God, I can't even say it. It's so woo. Can y'all feel what I'm feeling in here? Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Father, I thank you for your touch. I thank you for your healing power. In the name of Jesus, that is flowing freely. I receive it freely, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. I don't know about you all, but I receive it. I receive it. Now, my time is up. I have given you everything that you need. It's up to you to receive it. Now it's time for us to receive an offering. Amen. Glory to God. Receive your healing now. Receive your healing now. Receive your healing now. Glory to God. ministries.com or you can use your cash app. Amen. Glory to God. You want to plan a special seed for my trip to Pakistan? You're welcome to do so. Amen. We appreciate all that you do and all that you uh, plan to do. Amen. We thank God for each and every one of you. We love you. We appreciate you. And we believe that God is touching your bodies today. Amen. Your blood sugar is turning. Your blood, your blood sugar is, is, is coming down. Amen. Your blood sugar is coming down. Your high blood pressure is, is, mel is, is coming down. In the name of Jesus, I speak it right now. I speak to high blood pressure. I command it to come down. In the name of Jesus. And Father, I ask you that you would as the breath pressure come down, teach them, Father, what causing this high blood pressure so they will stop eating that particular items. That they will change their eating habits to bring their blood pressure under control. Father, I thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Go ahead and so you see myherbergministries.com Amen. If you're here today and you never made Jesus Christ Lord of your life, I'm going to give you that opportunity also. If you never made Jesus Christ Lord of your life, right now, I want you to just say this prayer with me. Say, Lord Jesus, I repent of my sin. Come into my heart. Create me a right spirit and renew me a clean heart. I believe that you are the Son of God and that you died for my sin. Today, I confess my sin and I acknowledge you as my Lord and Savior. Amen. You said that prayer right now. The angels in heaven rejoicing over you. I want to pray for you right now. Those that need prayer, I pray for you right now. You need prayer, sir? Come on, let me pray for you right now. Anyone else need prayer right now? My team lost last week. That's all right. They'll get over it. <laughs> My team never lose. No, no, no. All of mine are angels. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord God that your hand rests upon his brother. I thank you, Father, that your word will not return void what you have released out of your mouth concerning your people. I release divine health and healing right now from the crown of his head 
to the soles of his feet. I declare and decree, Father, that as he has stepped into that water, tonight marks the night of a new beginning in his health. I thank you, and I consider it as so in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Oh. Yeah, I know. It's powerful up here right now. There's a heavy anointing in this place right now. Yeah. 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 Amen. Anyone else need prayer right now? Anyone ask for prayer online? Amen. Let's okay. Father, I just pray for everyone that's with us online right now. I lift them up before you, Father. I declare and decree divine health and healing in the name of Jesus. I break every demonic assignment against their health, and I release the anointing right now to lift burdens and destroy you. Be healed in Jesus' name. God, I thank you for it. I bless your name. In Jesus' name, amen. Glory to God. See you next week. Bye-bye. Thank you, Jesus.